everyone knows this item. Ordered with no hesitation. And so much guilt for trash. We'll do better. So today we're making the Pizza Hut cinnamon sticks. This could also be, I guess, an implication to make the Domino's ones too. Out Pizza the Hut and Domino. Out uh, board game the Domino. So if you don't have a Pizza Hut near you and you don't know what this is, it's essentially cinnamon roll in the form of a stick and they just use leftover pizza dough. Make the margins real good. The thing is, is like any bread with sugar, in their case, fake butter, is probably gonna be okay-ish. As a human being, you, you see bread and you're like. I have nothing else I wanna add to that. So with all that being said, let's make this, shall we? Pizza Hut, the lesser delivery option. Hey, yeah. This is just someone just farting in it over and over. Uh, can I just get two orders of the cinnamon sticks? All right, bye bye. God, that was awful. Every, every ounce of that. I hated every second. I need to go lay down. It'll be here. We didn't physically go to a building. So the three point test is just a zero across the board. I guess I'll give a five out of 10 for the customer service because she was nice, but also like I could hardly hear her. We got the bag. Branding, the same since like 1832, which I kind of respect. So these are hot, which is nice. Total came out to 2217. This looks like the sweaty guy at the community pool who shaved like a week ago and it's starting to grow back and he's like kind of just started working out his stomach area. Ready? Tell me I'm wrong. Is this cooked? So moist. Icing? Why is it yellow? It doesn't smell bad. It actually smells good. I don't know if it's real cinnamon though. That don't look right. This doesn't taste like icing. It tastes like sweetened condensed milk mixed with glue. I do like this crispy bottom. That's nice. Smells good. Call me crazy, this is kind of good. But it's sweet enough as it is, it doesn't really need the icing. What I don't like is whatever this fake butter is on here. It's got like a margarine aftertaste, not a fan, coating the mouth. Grotesque. But I like the crunch at the bottom. I like the sweetness on the top. There's elements to this that I enjoy. And then there's a visceral amount of elements that just shouldn't exist. Ruin. You do not need this. This on its own is fine, but they had an opportunity to make a real experience here. I think we'll take that job. Roydo, this is one of my favorite breads we've ever done on this channel. That's really saying something because we've done a lot of breads. Something about one of these thick, fat logs, crispy bottomed, cinnamon and brown butter laden, so righteous, so naughty, and borderline perfect the way they are. Let's begin, the ever so secret dough. Well, hypothetically, they would be using leftover pizza dough, but it's also Pizza Hut. Good for their margins, that's for sure. Now we're gonna mimic the same idea with a sort of a Neapolitan style pizza dough. Quite literally, no fat in the dough whatsoever. Now, please do all this in grams. I'm not giving you an alternative. So sorry, but it needs to be done this way for consistency's sake. Love you so much. <laughs> in a large bowl, add 800 grams of double O tipo flour and 16 grams of fine sea salt. Mix together till combined. Separately, you'll need 512 grams of water, around 95 Fahrenheit, whisk in 8 grams of instant yeast. And look at this, we doubled what's traditional for the yeast here in a proper Neapolitan dough. And we did it for that soft pillow goodness. Now add the yeasty wawa to your flour mixture, mix by hand until you get a rough dough. Yes, it will be sticky. Don't come whining in the comments. Oh my gosh, what do I do with my hands? Are... It's supposed to be. So to knead it, hold your hand in a scoop shape, pick the dough up and slap it against the bowl like this. Within a few minutes of that, it should start to pull from the side of the bowl and smooth out. And at that point, you can knead as normal in the bowl until you get a taut, smooth dough. About three to four minutes total, depending on the biceps of yours. We'll do a light bowl, place in a greased large bowl, cover with plastic wrap and look. Yes, you can rise at room temp for one to two hours till double blah 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 but if you want that ooey gooey yeasty goodness pop it in the fridge to rise overnight listen if you're gonna wait to see the new marvel movie then you're gonna wait for some good ass cinnamon sticks anyway once the dough is thicker than me in skin tight jeans punch the dough down dump out onto a lightly floured work surface and divide into 16 evenly sized pieces around 70 to 80 grams each depending on how large you want these roll them into light balls cover with a damp towel and rest for 10 minutes once rested roll each of them into 3.5 inch sausages Place those in 8x8 or 9x9 trays, which will fit two rows of five or two rows of four. Repeat with another 8x8 tray. And you might be thinking in this tin, wait a minute, Josh, the, this one isn't filled out properly. Yeah, that's because I uh, might have gotten a little cocky and didn't measure each piece out. Don't do that. Anyway, cover with plastic wrap and proof for 30 minutes at room temp. And when you start that proof, I'd recommend preheating your oven to 425 Fahrenheit. Then once it's big time, get yourself a quarter cup or 62 grams of melted clarified butter, also known as ghee. Do not use regular butter. 
tar. You can make your own clarified butter yourself, or you can buy it from the store. Now, brush half your melted clarified butter on one sheet of sticks, and then the other half on the other sheet of sticks. Yes, use all of it. I want this thing sinking into the tight, moist crevices of your thick sticks. Make it naughty. Now pop those into your preheated oven and bake for 18 to 20 minutes. And while that's baking, we prepare everything else. First off, cinnamon sugar, basic. Small bowl, three quarters of a cup or 167 grams of granulated sugar, one and a half tablespoons or five grams of ground cinnamon, and optionally, a generous pinch of fresh grated nutmeg. Whisk until thoroughly combined. And just like all of my other recipes that have cinnamon sugar, this makes more than you need for the recipe. I will say nothing else other than you're welcome. Now, obviously, their cinnamon sticks are brushed with butter. Boring. What if we made brown butter? Still boring. What is this, 2012? What if we smoked the butt? Er. Now I can feel my culinary ego coursing through my veins. In a medium-sized pot, add half a cup or 112 grams of salted, not unsalted. This is what makes this butter fun. Set that over medium heat and let that melt and cook, swirling the pan often. And you'll start to notice those milk solids in the bottom starting to toast, look a little darker, a little darker. And you're gonna let that keep going until it reaches a relatively deep brown color. Not quite mahogany, but close to it. Now pour that out into a bowl, set over an ice bath, and continuously stir just until it's fully chilled and into more of a softened butter state. Get yourself a large heat proof container, something like a full or even a half hotel pan works. You could also use a large deep baking pan. Place your bowl of butter in there. Form sort of a three inch wide bowl, shaped out of foil. Something I'm sure some of you <laughs> juvenile delinquents may find familiar, shame on you. Now, if you want to smoke this, the easiest way is with this special compressed wood, which is super easy to get. And there's a link in the description to find the one that I use. Now, get a couple half inch chunks of it. Place in your foil bowl, blast that with a kitchen torch until fully charred and beginning to smoke. Lightly blow on it, drop with a lid and allow to smoke for 15 minutes. Remove the lid and optionally you can repeat that one more time if you want it super smoky and that's it. Now, before you say anything, this hilariously does not make my smoke alarm go off. I don't know why. Opening the oven while literally cooking? Yeah, yeah, alarm time, so fun, haha. <laughs> literally smoking something indoors. But let's look at this butter. Ah, oui, beurre noisette fumé. Huh? Pretty good. French homies, what do we think? Now, at this point, your timer should be ding a ling or close to it. If not, well, you're probably about to be filled with regret. Now, after that 18 to 20 minute bake time, out should emerge a very lightly golden brown bun, ever so lightly blistered on the crust, nearly focaccia-like with that Neapolitan-style dough working its magic. Now, immediately brush each pan with your smoked brown butter. Follow that with a generous sprinkle of your cinnamon sugar on top each individual bun. Don't be shy here. Go hard on both the butter and and the sugar. Yes, you will use all of the butter. You won't use all the sugar. See, the sugar's gonna melt with the butter and dissolve and look so beautiful. This reminds me of those little cinnamon sugar toasts that my mom would make me when I was a kid. You know what I'm talking about. Now, immediately pull those from their pan and cool slightly on a wire rack. Very important because you want to preserve that with bottom. Now, while that cools, make your cream cheese icing, medium-sized bowl, eight ounces or 227 grams of full-fat cream cheese, half a cup or 112 grams of salted butter, softened. Beat those two together with a handheld electric mixer, and once homogenous, add two and three quarters of a cup or 373 grams of powdered sugar in batches until all of it's incorporated and you have a smooth frosting-like consistency. Finally, add one and a half teaspoons or nine grams of vanilla bean paste, or you can use fresh vanilla bean if you like. Then add whole milk to thin, about two teaspoons at a time, beating it in before adding more until it reaches a drizzleable consistency. You don't want it too thick, and you don't want it too thin. You should be able to dip this without it being water, while simultaneously not taking the whole damn ramekin with it too, when you pull your stick out of it. Boy, that did not read the same way when I say it out loud. Now, all there is to do is pop your bad boy onto a tray or a serving platter with a nice ramekin of your icing. Optionally, you can drizzle these bad boys with some extra icing as well. Doesn't do much flavor-wise, but it does give a little extra visual excitement to pop a stick stick. Now let's put this in our mouths. Wow, look at that. Two of them are gone because I fed them to the team. Pano unhinged his jaw like an anaconda. First off, listen. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Cause you can hear it from where you're standing. Give this a dunk. Oopsie. This is like a two year old playing basketball against LeBron James. I guess I'll describe the flavor, although it doesn't matter. Just f make it. The texture of this dough is like a luscious cloud mattress that you fall into and you're just endlessly falling into comfort and joy and happiness. So the butter, don't skip a single technique. The smokiness, the brown butter, it's like every flavor working together into a beautiful harmony. So we won, but we need to taste test. Kendrick's coming in today. Yeah, Kendrick! Woo! Uh yeah. Open nice and wide for daddy. He can't keep getting away with it. Number two. I'm ready for disappointment. <laughs> that does taste like glue. Well, number one or two, you didn't tell me. But I'll be honest, mine are a lot thicker, wider, longer, girthier. The difference is immeasurable. Starting off with the bread, bread's so much softer, fluffier. It's got a bit of sweetness to it that really enhances the butter, cinnamon. Everything just kind of melds together. This is hospital food. 
I wouldn't give this to my worst enemy. Which one did you give me? This was one that was No, 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 which one of these did you give me? Oh, this one. That was like probably one of the greatest compliments I've ever received. Jeez, <laughs> B-roll.